Hey guys, EBP Man here, and today we're going to take a look at the deck station from Samsung. Now, my first look at looking at this uh, deck station, it looks like it's just a wireless charging base, but it's really much more than that. Uh, this deck station gives your phone the ability to look and feel as if it were a desktop. So simply by dropping your phone into the cradle here and having this connected to a monitor, keyboard, and a mouse, you will have a Windows-like experience, as it says here, a desktop experience. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to do the unboxing. We're going to see how it works. And for those of you who are you know, on the line about buying a PC or not or would like to just have one device, this may be the solution for you where your phone and your desktop could be the same solution. So let's go ahead and check it out. Now, inside the box, you're going to have your station. So I'll put this aside right here. You do have a charging brick, and this is a fast charging brick. Also, a USB-C uh, charging cable for the station, and a user guide. Now, taking a closer look at the station, you just push right here. It opens up, and you'll notice that you have your charging port there. Let's close that again. So there it's in a closed position. You push up and that's where you would plug in your phone. Your phone would slide in and go in. So it doesn't look like there's a wireless charging contact back here. It's powered through this area. Now on the back, you'll find that there are several ports. So you have two USB 2.0. Uh, you do have an Ethernet connection here, it looks like. And you also have HDMI, and you have your charging solution. So this is where you would charge. So that's pretty much all there is to it. So now, once you connect the the phone into the DeX uh, cradle, uh, you'll be greeted with this screen that says, Welcome to Samsung DeX. Now it takes a couple seconds after you choose Samsung DeX for it to load and switch, but what I have now here is something that looks like a desktop. Now a couple things. I am using a wireless keyboard combo, um, Logitech one, uh, that's just one USB that's connected, and so far, everything looks pretty good. So what you have here are access to your files, access to the internet, um, access to email, your gallery, and you have your settings. Here you have this little welcome screen, which we're going to just go ahead and go through. So we'll hit next. Uh, multitasking looks like there's going to be icons that will show on the bottom. And then um, you know, just giving you some general information. So I'm going to go ahead and hit start. And now what it wants us to do is kind of look at adjusting the corners. The corners of my screen are, are spot on, so I'm not going to have to make any adjustment. So I'm going to hit OK. All right, so now that we've um, launched into the desktop, let's talk about some of the controls and some of the things that you see here on the screen. So first of all, just like Windows, you do have some icons or so, the ability to launch some programs that are here on your desktop. Um, you have in the bottom um, here, you have the ability to bring in your app drawer. So even though on the phone it doesn't exist, this is like your start menu. And you could actually look at Dex optimized applications. And there's quite a few of them. I find that most of them are business type apps. So you can notice that the entire uh, Microsoft suite is available. You do have different categories for those things that are uh, free, those that are paid, and anything that it's new. The market is very new for this, uh, and it's I'm sure it's going to be all based on um, adoption. You do have also a button on the bottom left here that is your multitasking button, and that's going to give you the ability to jump uh, from any of the started apps. So like I can bring in this to this browser right here if I wanted to. Um, and also, what you'll notice here in the bottom right left-hand corner is these are also your recent apps. So these are things that you've launched that are showing here, and you can close these out if you'd like. I have noticed that as I've been playing with this, uh, as this gets uh, longer, just like with um, any Windows application or any uh, you know, system, including the iPhone, as you have many things open, you do start to see some performance drags. So what I would do is I would just close it. You'll notice how it comes up and you have that close option. Uh, I can uh, go into and have multiple uh, windows open at the same time. So for example, I'm going to bring up this calendar. And uh, here what I have now are two things going. So I have one window on one side and one on the other. And you can put these things side by side and use it as if you were in Windows, um, having multiple applications. Now, on the bottom right-hand corner here, you do have a, and let me pan a little bit so you can get that in view. You do have a, um, very similar to Windows, you have your 
time, you have a search, you have your volume control. Um, audio is coming through the monitor if you have a monitor with speakers, if you connect it to the TV. Um, if I expand this, which I can expand it right here, you're going to be able to see your, your volume, your keyboard, you're going to be able to see uh, these are all your toggles that you typically have, enable your hotspot. You can take phone calls when you have DEX enabled, um, network connectivity, Wi-Fi, obviously uh, NFC, some of the things that you see on the top of your phone your notifications, um, you know, any kind of security apps that you have um, installed and uh, that's going to appear there as well. Uh, performance, even from a word processing perspective, is actually very good. I find that uh, the performance is good, the phone hasn't uh, warmed up in any way and overall I'm pretty happy and excited about leveraging my phone as a desktop solution. Now I did go ahead and install the version of Word uh, that was optimized for DeX and it works actually really well. Uh, the neat thing about this version of Word, um, and, it, and it works with any Word version either on iOS or uh, for Samsung Standard or optimized for DeX, is that if you are part of the Office 365 um, login process, all your documents, if it's on a desktop, if it's on a phone, if it's on a tablet, all of them get synchronized with your phone. So I can have access uh, in this specific app to all the documents that I use when I work. Same thing as with Excel and the same thing as with PowerPoint. Now there's two ways that you can access YouTube content. One is using the browser or the other is using the YouTube app. Uh, YouTube has not been designed uh, for DeX, so you'll notice that when I open it up, you get the YouTube uh, phone or mobile version. You could still maximize it up as I'm doing right here and make it larger, but it's still using the format of the uh, standard YouTube. Now you could in the browser, if we bring this browser window in, and you can see that I'm doing some significant multitasking here, uh, you could actually go into uh, YouTube and then even though you come to the mobile app, you can choose uh, request a desktop site. So if I choose to request a desktop site, the page is going to update and it's going to look more like uh, it would on your browser. Uh, performance is really good. Um, so if I, for example, click on this video, it starts playing uh, quickly. Uh, and again, it's it's surprisingly good. I keep on saying that it's good, but it, I w did not expect much from this. I thought it was, you know, one of those other attempts to merge a phone with a desktop solution. But I would say give this thing a try, especially if you're looking to have a combo solution where you have your phone as a desktop and simplify some of the things that you have in your home. Now, this is not going to be good for gamers. Um, this is going to be good for some who likes to do word processing, some who likes to do emails, some who does... Um, let's say, uh, who does some casual viewing of YouTube or Netflix, it will work fine. Uh, but if you're a hardcore PC user or Mac user, does video editing, audio editing, it's not for you. But I can see myself going on vacation, taking that little uh, the little desk, desk box that's right there, taking that with me and plugging it into a monitor in or TV in the hotel and then having a full desktop experience. To me, that is very cool. So this concludes my review of the DexStation Desktop Experience Dock from Samsung. Definitely a buy, especially if you're looking for a desktop experience while still using your phone. If you have any comments or questions, leave it in the comment area below. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. And as always, don't forget to share and subscribe. Thanks for watching.